Hello everyone, welcome to the HTML and CSS course for beginners. If you are joining us for the first time, we recommend you pause this video and go watch our intro video. All right, you can do that by just checking the description area. There should be a link in there, sort of like a playlist link. Just click on that link and the very first video should be the intro video all right watch that video it has very important instructions in there that you need to follow that way you'll be able to follow along with me as i go deeper and deeper into this course it's very important please watch that video and after that you can come back and continue with this video if you've already done that then check the description area and click on the lesson link all right click the lesson link that way you'll see exactly what I'm seeing over here okay so uh, in this course we will be reading you know I know you can just read along with me right here uh, but we will start off by talking about the fundamentals of HTML all right so just follow along with me and everything should look pretty good okay so the goal of this unit is to introduce you to the fundamentals of HTML one of the languages essential to developing websites after this unit you will be able to understand how HTML is used for web development use HTML to build a structure for a website create tables in HTML documents write clearer more accessible HTML using semantic HTML tags okay so uh, after you read that um, you can just go ahead and click next and then you can just click start next lesson okay so uh, once you click that that button you should see something that looks exactly like this all right this is the uh, coding system we're gonna be using to uh, to start to learn how to code okay this is the code academy platform this is why I told you to watch the intro video is very important and follow the instructions in there okay if you do not yet have your code academy account please check the description area click on that link and get your account and follow also watch the intro video and follow the instructions in there all right we will start using this platform to learn how to code you may not see certain things here but don't worry we're gonna cover everything as we go so just be patient um, we will start off on this platform later on we're gonna build sites outside of this platform okay we're gonna be looking at like stuff like visual studio code like this something like this right here where you can see other things going on we will explain everything so just be patient and follow because this is a course right so just follow along with us and you will be fine okay so um, we're gonna read the text over here on this left hand side follow along with me it says introduction to HTML welcome to the world of code last year millions of learners from our community started with HTML why HTML is a skeleton of all web pages it's often the first language learned by developers marketers and designers and is core to front-end development work if this is your first time touching code we are excited for what you're about to create so what exactly is HTML HTML provides structure to the content appearing on a website such as images texts or videos right click on any page on the internet choose inspect and you'll see HTML in a panel of your screen okay so basically what is saying here is that HTML is a, a very important part of every website you see online this is a sample website I built uh, for a retail store in Columbus and looking at the website 
there's a lot of HTML going on in the background. Now, HTML works together with CSS to make website look visually appealing. Okay, you can really have one without the other. You can, but in order for the site to look visually appealing, you have to have HTML and CSS working together. Now, you can just right click over here and click view page source and you can see all kinds of uh, all kinds of HTML and uh, CSS going on in the background okay so you can visually see what is going on in the background please do not waste time over here uh, or else you might get you know super confused and stuff the essence of this is just to show you that this nice looking website has some HTML and CSS going on in the background okay don't waste too much time over here all right okay so let's get back to our lesson here uh, over here it says HTML stands for hypertext markup language a markup language is a computer language that defines the structure and presentation of raw text in HTML the computer can interpret raw text that is wrapped in HTML elements okay so this is right here is an example of a HTML element hypertext is text displayed on a computer or device that provides access to other texts through links also known as hyperlinks uh, we're gonna cover a lot about or you will see a lot of hyperlinks as we go further into this course okay you probably click on a couple of hyperlinks on your way to this code academy course learning HTML is the first step in creating websites but even a bit of knowledge can help you inject code snippets into newsletter blog or website templates as you continue learning you can layer HTML with CSS and JavaScript to create visually compelling and dynamic websites but for now we're going to focus on how to add and modify basic content uh, on a web page okay like text images and videos don't worry if the web pages look ugly we're just getting started we're gonna do this instructions over here in the code editor to the right type your name in between the H tags then press run okay so this right here is something called H tag and we've been instructed to just type our name in the middle all right in between it and then hit run and then we're gonna see that the output here says Kessie that's what we typed in so this h1 does uh, uh, the opening h1 and the closing h1 does not show only the content in the middle it outputs to the console right here okay so um, let's talk a little bit about the h tag okay the h tag is used to define titles on a website okay and they do come in different versions we have the h1 tag we got h2 we got h3 it goes all the way to h6 okay so the titles are ranked based on which one is more important okay so if you look at this here the h1 tag will tell the browser or the SEO bot that is crawling your website that anything that is placed within the h1 tag is the most important of of the titles so the a better way to understand this is to uh, let's let's take a look at a sample article here okay so this one here is a is an article about the health benefits of you know banana banana pepper right so I just pulled this randomly online okay went to this website and this article talks about the health benefits of banana pepper so the very first title this right here is an example of an h1 tag this one is telling the browser or any SEO bot that is crawling the website that this title is the most important part of the article okay and the reason is that I mean if you look at news 
titles if you look at you know other blogs titles the title will compel you to want to read more you know about about the content so that makes the title really really important if you're doing SEO you want to make sure you put the most important keywords inside of the title all right now when we scroll down a little further here uh, we can see we're looking for the next title okay this one seemed to be a title but actually this right here is the next title right this one is a sample of a h2 title okay so this one is telling the browser or the uh, SEO bot crawling the site that this is the second most important title okay then you can see uh, an example of a h3 title you can see this one is an h3 title which is underneath the h2 title so you can see how everything is ranked right so the browser coming in uh, or the SEO bot crawling your website will know how to rank your titles and also will use those ranking to uh, you know to rank your website in search results okay so you can see right here even the font size of the titles uh, is impacted by that you know h1 or h2 tag okay another one we can look at is this I created this content over here I'm just gonna copy that let me copy that content and then paste it right inside here okay let me just go ahead and delete the first one for now uh, delete that and then we're gonna hit run and then you can see right here the title with the biggest font here is the h1 tag okay uh, there is a little paragraph thing here content over here then the next one is the h2 tag you can see that in terms of size this one is the second biggest this is telling the browser and any SEO bot crawling your site that this is the second most important title to pay attention to all right and then you can have you can see a h3 tag as you go further down all right you can have another h2 tag here which is another subtitle okay so you could use this h tags to rank your titles the way you want them based on the importance uh, you know the importance of the title okay all right this this becomes very useful when you're doing SEO okay this is when it becomes really useful uh, a good practice is that you need to put um, the most important keywords inside of the titles especially the h1 title all right okay so um, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next um, the next part here this one this one talks about the HTML anatomy okay so HTML is composed of elements these elements structure the website and define its content let's take a look at how they are written the diagram to the right displays an HTML paragraph element we as we can see the paragraph element is made up of the opening tag you can see the opening tag right here the content right in the middle and the closing tag okay so pay attention to the bracket everything that is written here is important okay pay attention to how the uh, right on the right hand side here there is a forward leaning slash right that indicates that the element is closing that's very important you're gonna be seeing a lot of this as we go further down into this course you will see that there is a forward leaning slash on the right side of it that indicates that the element is closing right or that's the end of the element okay and then inside of it we have the content okay so you got opening tag content and closing tag that makes up the element you can take some time and read feather in in here it's just saying the same thing that I just said over here okay all right 
so that will do it for now we're gonna try to make these videos shorter so we don't get overwhelmed with too much information all right so we will pause this video and uh, i will see you guys in the next video we'll continue with this lesson in the next video have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.